So yeah, I actually was born in New Zealand, but I grew up in Australia, uh, which makes me both a Kiwi and a total idiot. <laughs> Do we have any Australians here? No, thank you. Thank, no, I, yeah, we would have heard them already, right? <laughs> yeah, no. That's great. Uh, and in Australia, I actually studied Japanese and Italian. Wow. Oh, thank you. Uh, usually silence is the response to that. Thank you. Yeah, uh, they, they were actually amazing choices once I realized how many countries speak Japanese and Italian. <laughs> uh, which is why I moved to Germany. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I actually learned German the Berlin way from a Syrian refugee. Uh, he's my best bud now. I love Usam. Uh, we do everything together. Uh, and like, I do have lots of other expat friends, but I don't see them that often. And I think that's why I love Usam so much because he can't leave. <laughs> German and Japanese and Italian, uh, so I've actually made myself the linguistic equivalent of the axis of evil in World War II. Yeah, you like that? You like, you like, you like, you like fascism? Is that, you like fascism? Yeah, I thought I was here. Uh, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> but I, I never, I like, I, I actually work at a kindergarten, guys. That's my job. I work at a kindergarten and uh, never thought I'd work there. We actually, were asking the children the other day what they want to be when they grow up and in my in my children's group there were a lot of wannabe police doctors and speech therapists <laughs> I think because we're in Germany <laughs> but uh, one of the children said I want to work with TNT and we're all like uh, does he mean DHL and uh, he said, no, 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 I want to make bombs. And we were like, whoa, uh, wh why do you want to make bombs? And he said, to kill people. <laughs> uh, yeah, that really, really happened. Uh, but guys, this, this child is five years old and he's Polish, uh, so we're not really worried. Uh, <laughs> Give it your best shot. Let's see if we can change history. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but I really love my job uh, at this German kindergarten. The children that I work with are really German because they've actually been in the German system now for five years uh, because they're five. So um, an example of just how German they are, the other morning Max had hit his head and he had this big red mark on his forehead and he was holding it crying, Jonas pushed me into the lamp post. <laughs> And little Jonas came up to Max super seriously and said, I'm sorry, Max, but that's not a lamppost, that's a signpost. <laughs> <laughs> and then my German colleague came up and was like, that's right, Jonas, Max, that's not a lamppost. <laughs> and then Max said sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's German empathy, guys. I love it, I love it. Uh, but I, I don't have any children. Uh, the closest I've come to having kids is the morning after pill. <laughs> I've had a few. Uh, <laughs> but my favorite was in Portugal. Uh, I, uh, I hooked up with a receptionist at my hostel. Um, very good move because he had all the keys to the private room so I got a free upgrade uh, and, uh, and what happened was that the condom broke uh, naturally uh, all, all over the sheets that we didn't change for the next guests and I was, I was so happy when he took me to the pharmacy the next day to get the pill because the night before I'd actually fucked someone else <laughs> And uh, if you know anything about the pill, it's effective for 72 hours. So guys, two babies, one pill. Uh, and that is what I call integrating into German efficiency. 